Hi everyone, it's Miss Queen Crypto and I am back again for another episode of Friday Block Talk on the Emboli channel. If you couldn't already tell, I am at my new home base for the summer and I'm really excited to have the spring semester behind me and move out all done. And I'm just really excited to be able to dive into content and making videos that I'm excited about. So for today's video, Unless you haven't been looking at the charts at all this past week or haven't been on crypto Twitter or even read the news at all. If you've been living under a rock, then this is news to you. But otherwise, you've already kind of figured out the situation I'm talking about. But we're experiencing a bit of a crash right now. And this isn't a crash that's like solely tied to Bitcoin. It's also like the Dow stocks are crashing. It's just a tough time for finances in general. But... This is one of the first like big 50% crashes we've seen, especially since I've started making like weekly videos. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to discuss what you can do to protect yourself and like strategies that you can take in order to make sure that you're not freaking out every single time the market crashes. And so with that, let's get into the video. So I realized during my time making these videos, I still haven't made one about dollar cost averaging, which is crazy because dollar cost averaging is one of the safest ways that you can invest in Bitcoin and invest in crypto. If you're not an experienced trader and you can't spend your time looking at the markets constantly and you are worried about timing your purchase correctly. So with dollar cost averaging, you are breaking up your payments and your purchases of the coin into smaller increments that are on a schedule type of thing. So it can be daily, it can be weekly, it can be monthly, but you're breaking up those purchases. So instead of doing a bulk purchase at like 42,000, when Bitcoin was at 42,000, you are putting in little by little over a couple of weeks. And so you end up with like the average of the price. And so if you ended up buying at the top, that's unfortunate because now that it's lower, your, your loss basically is that much. But when you've been buying the average for a long, long time, your losses are kind of minimized. So it's, an import, it's a good way to protect yourself. And it's something that I recommend heavily towards people who are just getting started because it's pretty low commitment. I know there are a lot of exchanges that you can like actually set up a schedule to purchase it and you don't have to worry about remembering, but even if it's not like super, super regular, it's, it's a good idea to try and buy little by little over time in order to get that average. And so you don't have to worry about losing a ton of money and you don't have to worry about timing it just right. Cause I know the first time I bought Bitcoin, I bought a lump sum and so I was sitting by my phone for like an hour and I was like oh my god it's going up it's going up oh no what am I doing should I have bought it like 10 minutes ago and I was freaked it wasn't like that much but it was something where it meant a difference there was a difference there but as I've started dollar cost averaging the stress that goes into making those payments especially when you don't have like a huge sum of money that you can just put into it whenever you want it it breaks it up and it's a way to budget. And so you're able to have like Bitcoin be an expense that you pay for weekly and you can like fit it into your budget sheet so you don't have to worry about making sure that you're able to make those payments. Like you don't have to worry about what losing a ton of money when the market crashes. So the first thing that I think is really important is that dollar cost average because you don't, you're, you're fine. I also think that an important thing to keep in mind during these times is perspective because looking at the chart and waking up, when I woke up and saw like 33,000, I was like, oh no, that doesn't sound very good, but you have to keep it in perspective. Like from the, the all time high, we're at like a 50% price drop, which is a lot, don't get me wrong. And that's definitely a scary thing to hear. However, I'm sure you've seen this on Twitter or somewhere online, but Bitcoin has survived multiple 80% drops and then recovered better than ever. I'm sure we've all seen the like price cycle graphs that are circulating around. I saw them like a couple months ago, but they pop up every now and then. But you have to remember that there is a cyclic nature to this. And while it's not 
certain that it'll recover. It's extremely likely given the previous evidence that we have and like the previous charts and times that it has dropped. And so it's important to keep in mind that unless you were planning on selling your Bitcoin this week, you're not actually losing money. You still have the same amount of Bitcoin that you purchased. In fact, now is a good time if you have the funds to purchase more Bitcoin because crazy, you can get more Bitcoin for the same amount of like money, US dollars or whatever your local currency is. But you aren't actually losing anything unless you sell. So panic selling is really dangerous because people get worried that it's going to get lower and lower and lower and they're going to end up with nothing. They're worried it'll go to zero. But with Bitcoin, we've seen this happen so many times that the likelihood of it going to zero now, once like now that we've had all of these corporate buy-ins and these billionaires support Bitcoin, it's even less likely that it will go to zero. And we've survived price drops before. We, we've seen this before and it's recovered. It might not be immediate and we've been through bear markets. We know how difficult it can be and it can definitely be a trying time. And it's sometimes hard to keep faith, but keeping that into perspective and like what goes down will also come up. Bitcoin has good momentum. Like we know that it has a lot of benefits and we know the good that it can bring into the world. So it's important to try and keep your faith. And that sounds like a weird thing to say about like a market. Like really, we're going to have faith in this. But it's, it's important to keep into perspective, like what is the likely outcome of this and the likeliness of it going to zero versus the likeliness of it recovering back to like the 50K region. 50K region, I, in my personal opinion, and I think a lot of analysts would agree with me, is a lot more likely at this point just because of all of everything that we've seen the past couple of months and how bullish individuals have been with Bitcoin. Individuals with a lot of money have been with Bitcoin. So that's just an important thing to keep in mind for your own mental health and sanity. The point of this is not to minimize any struggles or doubts that you might have with the market kind of crashing and reducing to 50%. I completely understand and I know there are people who have a large amount of their like net worth invested in Bitcoin and so they have a lot less liquid assets like cash and so when the price drops it can be catastrophic for a lot of people. So this is not to minimize that and say that oh this just means nothing. It's to have some hope and light and the dollar cost averaging is a good way to try and like shield yourself a little bit. It's a good protection that helps fight against these price drops that can be almost random at times and you definitely don't see coming but it, it's fair to have some doubt and obviously we don't know when there will be a recovery we don't know when the price will jump back up it can be days it could be weeks it can be months like there's really no way of telling it, I Well, there's no way for me to tell. I'm sure there are some analysts who can look at the charts and give you a much better estimate than I can, but my skill set is just not there right now. But I, it can definitely be tough, and these can be trying times, but at the, at the end of the day, it's important to stay positive and try and get through it. And even if that means like turning off your phone, like I have a widget on my phone that has like the price of Bitcoin at the top corner, and if that was, if that started to cause me like severe distress or not even severe, if that started to upset me every time I looked at it, I would remove the widget from my phone for a couple of days so that it wouldn't be a constant reminder. So if that's what you need to do, you need to stay off of Twitter for a couple of days, you need to minimize those widgets, take it off of your desktop, then that's something that you can do to help yourself through these times. It's a good time to, it's like, for me, at least in Florida, it's beautiful weather. So I've been spending more time outside versus on Twitter just because it seems a little bit repetitive with everyone talking about like, we've been through this before, it'll get better. Or where's all the family talking about how you were wrong? Stuff like, I, I mean, I feel like a lot of people are saying the same thing in different ways and it's not really necessarily the most productive of dialogues. So. I don't feel the need to be as tuned in. So I've been using that to my advantage because I have that ability. I have that luxury, honestly. So it's about spinning it 
so that it can be a positive experience for you. Even if it's not a positive financial experience for you, you can use it to your advantage, if that makes any sense whatsoever. But there's always a silver lining to every cloud, which yes, it's a cliche, but it holds true. So I think it's just a good idea to try and stay a little bit, like keep your wits about you obviously, but there you don't need to go into a complete panic and lose your mind over a price drop because this is just one element of your life. This is not life or death, luckily for us. Going into this, I knew this wouldn't be the most positive of videos, but I really appreciate you watching and sticking around for the whole thing. Hopefully this bear market is a short term one and it doesn't last a couple of months because otherwise things will get a little bit depressing, but you never know, anything can happen and we're just along for the ride. But if you enjoyed this video, thank you so much for watching and leave a like. And if you wanna see more videos, subscribe to the Emily channel. And if you wanna see more content from me, follow me on Twitter at Miss Queen Crypto. Thank you so, so much for watching. Good luck, <laughs> bye.